Hello everyone, it's Walter, Rotate Aviate. In today's video, we're going to examine um, Microsoft Flight Simulator compared to real life. Now, there's plenty of content already out there regarding um, the realism and comparison uh, between you know real aircraft and real areas of the world and in the simulator. However, it's all typically one angle of either over the wing or over the dash. And I thought I'd take the challenge upon myself and uh, try to get a more comprehensive feel. So when I was pre-flighting the airplane, I put all the cameras over the air airplane. And from there, I tried to duplicate it in the simulator. The town that I'm flying in is not most popular. It's not gonna be as detailed as Chicago or San Francisco or any other parts of the world that are more um, well known. This is just a little Tiffin, Ohio. So no big buildings or anything like that. It's my hometown. I do plan on doing a part two, um, more specifically with the avionics. All the inputs in the simulator have to be done exactly as they would be in real life. You can't just open up your keyboard and, and do some quick um, keys to get things to operate. You actually have to touch the buttons, twist the knobs, activate your um, your GPS's, your, your approaches, all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Paint scheme was pretty lucky. That's actually just by chance happens to be really close. Also, the aircraft in the sim is an arrow. The one I use in real life is an archer. Arrow has retractable gear. It also has a variable pitch propeller and some of the um, gauges on the panel are laid out slightly different. Um, I don't believe anybody else has done a comparison video quite like this yet. If there is, please um, include it in the comments. I'd love to see it. Um, heck, if somebody can do it better, please do. Hope you guys like the video. Um, thumbs up, subscribe. Hopefully I can do some more stuff like this.